Hello guys and welcome back to another video in which I built the breadboard computer DR8 CPU. Today, a package has arrived. These are the PCBs for the registers and for the bus of our computer. Let me show you what's in this box. A pen. Thought it looked nifty. And more importantly, if you can focus, the registers here. Of course, not assembled yet. And the bus. Here. Now, this looks just like the design, and the build quality is stunning. I, I'm amazed actually by the build quality. It's really good. I will now open these two. for you. So I will have to do that off camera as I cannot cut and hold the camera at the same time. Now, here you can see that I have opened the package a bit more <coughs> and I find the build quality simply amazing. So you will have this bus with all the slots for the components and a bit a few more essential things. And here you have the register which also looks very nice. So what we'll have is we'll have the bus here and there's going to be sockets installed here and then you take your components and you simply slot it in, just like that. Now there's a small chance that we might need to redesign the bus a bit. Because, well, if you take a look at this, this goes into the connector that we're going to use, and this is a placeholder. <coughs> I don't know exactly how large the pins on the bottom of the connector will be, therefore, I've just used something that looked alright. If you compare the sizes, you'll see why. I will explain these in a bit more detail later when I fully assembled them. And I will now show you some changes to the design I've made and some changes to the instruction set for the computer that I have made because I have found a bug, in fact, two. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I had found a bug in the instruction set which caused the CPU to instruct to run the instructions that were there. What happened what turned out to happen was I forgot to do carry in. I meant to say program counter increment before the conditional jump. Oh let's not do that. Before the conditional jump. Meaning that if this is false, it would... Let me open up an example for you. It... Oh, here is no column. There is a conditional jump in here. You see, this is the address. This is the data. 
the counter hadn't incremented yet, so it was still here. So when the CPU was done with that instruction and moved on to the next, it used this instruction instead, 0a, which in our CPU's term is add with carry in enabled. Carry in being uh, take your number but add just one to it. I have fixed, th fixed this by just adding a carry in. Again, I meant to say program counter increments. I really should have labeled this differently in front of all of the conditional jump instructions and that has fixed it very nicely for me. I have also done some slight tweaking over here. Now I know what you're thinking, what's this? Well, this will be explained in more detail later. This is special logic for the program counter. This is a input selector and this is a completely unnecessary attempt at trying to make a serial sender. Um, for some reason, I had two AND gates here, one with an input inverted, instead of a XOR gate to invert the condition. I do not know why, but I fixed this now, which is nice. I haven't really made any more changes, so that will be it for this episode, and I will see you guys next time.